yesterday I mentioned that men take up crazy hobbies like knitting and that men in South Africa, uh, the, the stats when it comes to knitting has increased to 33%. Today we've decided to introduce men and women to a different type of knitting. It's not really knitting, it's crocheting. And I've got Sue who's going to introduce us to the art of crocheting and uh, supermodel Josie Borain who's now turned mom. A professional photographer and, should I say, professional crocheter? She's seriously professional. <laughs> Where, how did you start with crocheting? Okay, what happened was uh, Sue and I live in Hot Bay mm -hmm. and we, our children go to the same school and I've, the, all these pieces over here are actually done by her. And I watched her doing them and I was like, Sue, you have to show me how to do this. And she gave me a, some wool and she gave me this needle and uh, hook. One, uh, sorry, you. hook. One, one month later, <laughs> One month later. Yeah, and I've still got a ways to go. Okay, well, now I also want to start. <laughs> I want to see how much I can do in one minute on Expresso. <laughs> Where do you start? You obviously need a hook, you need, you need some wool. You need a hook, you need some wool, um, you make a slip, slip knot. Do you need to be able to be anything creative-wise to be able to do this? No, everybody is creative. Okay. You just pick a colour you like, take, take a hook and yes. off you go. Okay, so, so you have made a knot in there. It's similar to the knot you make when, we, we, when you're knitting? Uh, no, when you're okay. knitting, it's, you cast on, it's different. Okay. With, a, with a crochet, you would make, start off making chains. Making chains. So now I've got a slip knot here on the, on the crochet hook. Mm -hmm. I would slip it under, pull it through and make chains. And basically for every single crochet project you start, you would need to make these chains. Pretty simple. It, it looks very simple. And you know what? When you start off, when I obviously this was the beginning of my of my <laughs> crocheting. It's gone to two. That's all I've got. I was really tight in the beginning. You yes. can see. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Look here. Um, <laughs> my, you know, I was I was very awkward and. That's exactly how yeah. I am. Yeah. And now just fingers I'm everywhere. Like much looser and, and and actually, you know what? I actually watch TV and I like listen to book on tape and I and I, I don't have to watch anymore. You can just do it. Okay. That's, well, actually, you see, jo Josie, what did you say before the time? You're like, if Josie, supermodel, can do it, photographer, anybody can do anyone it. Can do yes. it. Okay, okay, show us again. If a man right. can do it, do you want me to start, can definitely <laughs> do start it. again? Yes. Okay, right, okay. here we go. Followed at home. I'm, I've actually challenged some of our cameramen behind the scenes yeah, to take up a good idea. crocheting, and they've yeah. agreed. Right, Even if it's just go. one line, it's fine. Yeah. We've made a slip knot. A slip knot is the first thing. And then you start making your chains. Okay. Can you use any type of, of hook? There are, different, there are different hooks. If you look over here, there's the, there are large ones and then there are really tiny ones. Yes. The little ones you would use, you'd actually use it according to the yarn you would pick. Yeah. So you've got, you've got this, this got, that's called double knit, but you've also got other textured wools, because if you look here, you've mm. got little textured wools, and you would need different ne needles, ne different hooks for different yarns. And there we go, I'm now making chains. And basically, every single crochet project you would start, whether it's a blanket or a beanie or... Um, a shawl, whatever it is Even you do like. Those Even those. Against our, our would... back wall is also yeah, crochet knit. Yeah. What's next? Because you're making this for your son. Have you decided yes. what you're making next? Um, I've got three children, so I'm making three blankets. And then I'm stopping. No, no, you're not stopping. <laughs> I'm sure no, then I want to start doing those squarey things. Then you can come and circles. do the espresso yeah. wall. Yeah. Yeah. So what else have you made and how long have you been crocheting for? I've been crocheting for a year now. I've, mm -hmm. taken, I've gone I go on it. I'm absolutely <laughs> loving it. It's great to do when you're sitting in car parks and waiting for your kids to finish. And so that's part of I make um, throws mm -hmm. and blankets, um, beanies, whatever. You can make whatever you like. I mean, if you go online, you would find lots and lots of Well, that's projects. what we were discussing today yeah. on our social media, what yeah. life skill you could actually learn online. So we will teach you online and post this onto our Expresso.com uh, website, and you can learn the life skill of crocheting. This is how far I've gone. I'm not really far. <laughs> <laughs> but Sue, Josie, I promise I'm going to put this into practice and next time you see me I might also have a blanket. These, yes. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> now it's people. time to find out how to save money when it comes to shopping for your cleaning products. Let's find out more. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.